I'm skipping uh, this easy guy. I am not giving this three episodes. I am not giving this one episode. I am skipping this one, okay? I'm skipping it. I can't do it anymore. This is my breaking point. I'm skipping it, okay? I'm not gonna give this one a chance. I'm skipping it. What have I become? Hello, my weebs and gamers. We are going to be going through all of the spring anime that's gonna be airing next season. Every show is gonna get a rating. It's, a, it's either going to be a must watch, three episodes, one episode, or skip. But before we move on, I've got some exciting news about today's sponsor, AFK Arena. Everyone say happy birthday to AFK Arena for their fourth anniversary. And they have something exciting coming up for us weebs. A re-zero starting life in another world crossover event. <coughs> That's right, weebs. It's your chance to rewrite history and go, Ore Rarem Kaskida. You know, if you name Sea Dog VA. This is your chance to start a new fantasy journey with our beloved girls Rem and Amelia in a brand new thematic dungeon. They'll both be free for three days, after which there'll be a chance to redeem the heroes for free. You can also meet Rem at the local tavern as a barmaid and let her walk you through the basics of this land of adventures. AFK Arena is a mobile idol game brought to us by Lilith Games featuring an original 2D art style. In AFK Arena, you don't just need to spend a lot of time grinding gears or leveling up, as you can auto collect the resources even while you're away. This way, you can focus on the various gameplay modes available like PvE stories, dungeons, raid bosses, arena, king's towers, and so much more. By combining collectible RPG elements with these idle mechanics, AFK has provided a unique experience for over 40 million users worldwide, which now includes ReZero fans. AFK Arena's fourth anniversary celebration is starting now, so participate in this event to fight over best girl while also getting 100 summons. This is your chance, weebs. Restart your life today with AFK Arena and ReZero. Click the link in the description and use my promo code on screen for a bunch of freebies. Thank you very much to AFK Arena for sponsoring me today. Back to the video. We are starting off with Oshinoko. I called this in my video. I absolutely called this in my video, but they, they started to introduce VTubers as well. So it's like every facet of the entertainment industry in Japan. And it's, it shows kind of like the darker side. Oh, what a what a cheery show, guys. What a, what a cheer. Oh, man. Oh, man. Idols. Oh, look at those babies, man. Look at those babies. Oshinoko is an easy, an easy, easy must watch from me. And if you haven't read the manga, and if you're going into this blind, until you watch episode one, tr just, just try to go into this as blind as possible, okay? Alice Gear Aegis Expansion. Imagine being the guy who wants to watch an idol show, yo, okay? I am that guy. For this one season, hello fellow idol fans, I am one of you now. Now resigned to starships, forged of pieces of earth-shattered moons, the final hope for humanity lies in the hands of actresses. For a story where humanity is on the brink of extinction, seems very cheery, right? Seems uh, seems very cheery. Are we are we, are we watching are we watching the right trailer? Is this is this the right trailer here? It's uh did not uh, did not did not did not mean to pause in that frame, but I'm uh I'm <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> How do they breathe in space, bro? <laughs> Nano machine, son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> <sighs> Sounds like Knights of Sidonia. Yeah, right? I mean, genuinely, I would love to see more anime like Knights of Sidonia. This is Knights of Midonia. <laughs> oh my God. I hate that I laughed at that. <laughs> so this one is going to be a skip for me. Aono Orchestra. Oh, Blue Orchestra? Okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll reserve judgment until I watch the trailer. Let's have a look at the trailer. Asuka, is that you? God, get him down. Hey, it's just it's just twin tails, guys. Is she is she Gami and Asuka? Don't say it. Don't say it, chat. Don't say it. Don't say CG. Chat, stop it. Stop it. I knew it, chat. Stop. I saw one shot and I'm like, chat's about to explode right now, man. I always have a soft spot for anime about music. Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm not interested in the music genre shut up idol fans that's different shut up idol fans shut the fuck up i know you're about to say something shut the fuck up i think i'll give this one three episodes i'm gonna give this one three episodes i give too many isekai too many chances oh no 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 
no, 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 no. Ah, uh, so maybe I'm going to drop it to one episode. Birdie Wing Season 2. The most golf anime you'll ever find in your life. <laughs> oh, wait. I think that gun was just a metaphor, but Birdie Wig is the kind of show where I would not be surprised if they bought a gun to a golf match. That's the kind of show this is, man. <laughs> golf in America be like. I'm guessing this is the opening. Oh, I'm sad. They've got a rid of they've got a rid of penis life, man. No. No more penis in my life, man. <laughs> JoJo fans be like. <laughs> <laughs> If uh, you need one more reason to watch Birdie Wing, gay girls, isn't it? Still no isekai, I know, right? Still no isekai. Kyotaro daydreams of acting out his twisted fantasies on his unsuspecting classmate. Hey, yo, what? <laughs> this is the story of that quiet kid, that quiet kid in class. Okay, okay. For the synopsis. <sighs> That looked a lot cuter than what I thought this was going to be. Patrick Bateman anime. Yo, this is Patrick Bateman's redemption arc, man. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys. We found it. We found peak, guys. Look at this timeline, guys. It's the most replayed part. It's the most replayed part. My fellow people, my fellow people right here. Right here, man. Right here. <laughs> You know, is 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 her eating? Is is her eating just a vibe? Is that is that the vibe of this show? He fell in love because he watches this girl eat. Go, go. When I when I when I when, when I word it like that, that sounds sus as fuck. <laughs> oh, I like the song. This is a vibe. Oh man. Kensuke Ushio on the music. Yo, Insta Watch, man. And the school shooter anime doesn't. Anime in 2023. Bro, you said it, not me. I was like, I could make a really edgy joke right now, but I don't want to. Uh, this makes me feel wholesome things, man. Why does it look so cute? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. It's time for the mukbang waifu meta, man. Where's the real Giguk? I am the real Giguk, man. I am the real Giguk. Yo, maybe we need more shows about girls just eating. What more can you want? This one's a three episode for me. Let her eat. Let her eat, boys. Dead Mount Death Play. In the final moments of their epic confrontation, the corpse god's final gambit shot was wholly unexpected. Reincarnation magic! I don't count reincarnation as, as isekai, it's only if he gets reborn in another world. Alright, look at this thumbnail, man. How fucking edgy do you want to be? <laughs> Oh, oh, does he, is this, is this throat slit open? Oh my God. Oh, that was some booba. Bro, this looks so edgy. <laughs> oh man. Either you name your show Death Mount Death Play and you absolutely know what you're doing, or you name your show Death Mount Death Play and you have no idea what you're doing. Holy shit. It's from the author of Bakano and da 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 Okay, okay, I, yo, okay, okay, okay. Now I, now I have faith. Now I have faith, right? Guys, guys, they cooking, they cooking. I'm actually going to give this three episodes. All right, Eden Zero season two. Was that, was that Luffy and Ace in one body? <laughs> Your adventure ends here. Thank you very much. But uh, I, I would like to think I give everything a fair shot, but everything I've seen from Read and Zero, it just looks like the most average shonen I've seen in a long time. So this one is probably going to be a skip for me. Uh, this hasn't sold me on catching up to Eden Zero. See, here's the thing. If if I see a trailer and it looks actually good, I'll catch up to it. I literally just did that with Dan Machi because the season four trailer looks good. All right, moving on to Edomai Elf. Takamimi Shrine has an unusual resident, Elder, an ancient elf who's obsessed with video games. The shrine's teenage attendant, Koto Kagane, keeps this reclusive otaku well supplied with energy drinks and junk food. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, true gamer! It's like she just like me for real, except she's a hot elf. 
異世界から召喚されたエルフでしたおー<laughs> I see this art style and I get like flashbacks. I'm like, oh, not again. Not tomorrow. I can't handle it. <laughs> Yo, that Red Bull sponsorship, man. Hashtag ad. This is the best product placement you could have put in an anime. Holy shit. Definitely waiting for Dojin. <laughs> I really like the design of the main elf. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say why. It was, just, it was just a good design. Hey, guys. The real question is... Can you save Umaru by making Umaru a hot, mature gamer elf? And that's what I'm gonna find out with the one episode. I'm gonna give this one episode to see the answer to that question. <laughs> Our first official isekai, lads. We had it's it started. This one is I got a cheat ability in a different world and became extraordinary even in the real world. <laughs> A mysterious door stands out, inviting a boy who's been brutally bullied all of his life to take a courageous step forward into the unknown. On the other side, is this, is this the quiet kid again? Is this, is this another quiet kid redemption arc? On the other side, he finds a horde of priceless artifacts and a world as filled with magic as it is with monsters. The most shocking revelation, however, is that he can bring whatever he wants back with him when he returns to Earth. I'm gonna let this one cook. Let's uh, let's have a look at the, let's have a look at the trailer. Huh? Yo, oh, oh, those those abs, man! Holy shit! <laughs> Wait, we've uh, seen enough anime to keep up with subtitles. All right, all right. You 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 can read this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. God. Fucking damn it. It's a three episode for me. My trash taste sensors are tingling right now. Moving on to. Oh my god. <laughs> we, we got another show with Isekai in the title. My one hit kill sister. Guys, 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 hold up. Isekai, sister, all right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. We're, we're gonna cook, right? We're gonna cook. Asahi's doting elder sister, yo, Onesan, okay. Mayu comes into his rescue and saves him, chasing after Asahi's love. Okay, so, so they just straight up went there. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Alabamans, every time it's a family gathering. Um, there is one very, very important question that needs to be answered. Is she not related by blood? How hard are they committing to this, you know? I guess we will have to find out. And I'm gonna give it one episode to find out. <laughs> Moving on to another... <laughs> It's a three hit combo. We've had three in a row. Isekai Shokan wa Nidom Nidome des. There was once a hero who was summoned to another world and he saved that world. Okay, okay, okay. However, the man was caught in a trap and was forcibly returned to his original world. On top of that, he had to start over as a baby. Isekai New Game Plus? Actually sounds interesting. <laughs> Are we ever gonna stop cooking when there's Isekai in the title? <laughs> Yo, what was yo, what was that? Did he just did he just slap her ass right there? Yo, what? Hey yo, that's uh that's a twit long waiting to happen, man. What are, you, what are you doing? I'm gonna give this one one episode. Giga will defend any isekai level. First time to a season chart stream, first time. Another oh my god, there's another e Yo, the combo's at four now. It's transported to another world with my smartphone. That's getting a second season. What? How the hell did Isekai smartphone get a second season before No Game No Life? I'm skipping uh, this Isekai. I'm, I'm, I'm skipping it. The food came out. It's burnt. They tried to serve me chicken. It's freaking raw. Uh, moving on. Okay, now we're we're getting back to it. Now we are we are getting back to it. This is Hell's Paradise by uh, Studio Mapper. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. But uh, it's from, it's a manga made by one of the assistants of Tatsuki Fujimoto, the author of Chainsaw Man. Not Isekai Pass. <laughs> oh, 
Oh! Is this a bang right here right now? Woo. Oh! Oh, clean swordplay! Yo! This is gonna sound really weird, but this is leaning more into the three episodes for me. Like, watching the trailer didn't make me feel like I wanted to drop everything and give it a full watch. Uh, because, you know, the only thing I would need to do then is just trust manga readers. And as we all know, we, we can't f trust manga readers, right? <laughs> Kaminaki Sekai no Kamisama Katsudo. To his surprise, Yukito is reborn into a world with no concept of God. The isekai counter has gone up, boys. Being transported to an atheist world? That's not something I've heard of before. <laughs> what the f we've had trucking before okay we've had overwork before okay sometimes we have we even have buskin or train -kun. this is i can't say i've seen an isekai death like this before <laughs> what the f did she did 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 she do what i think she just did <laughs> Of course, the god is a lolly. POV, you are a Genshin fan. And let's just forget the fact that this is an isekai for a second. This is a genuinely interesting concept. I'm gonna give this one three episodes. Kanajo ga koushakute ni itaru. After a mysterious death, Park Enha enters the world. That's not a Japanese name. That's a Korean name. That's a that's a that's a little Korean name there. <laughs> enters the world of a novel. She is revived as a minor character, uh, Rayliana McMillan, who is to be poisoned to death by her own betrothed. In order to break up with her dangerous fiancé, she offers a surreptitious deal to the male protagonist of the novel, uh, Noel Wine Knight, but winds up romantically with other men that are not part of her plan. <laughs> well, calling out to all Gacha fans. Okay. Okay. Okay, this doesn't look bad, actually. Yo, it's... <laughs> oh, the f***ing music with the cinematic hit. They just put a f***ing vine boom in there, man. Look at this shit. <laughs> watching that trailer and watching the over-the-top nature of that trailer, it's like they made a villainous K-drama. I'm making up a new one. I'll give this one two episodes. <laughs> we, we're just making shit up now, man. We, we're making shit up. Kawaii Sugi Crisis. Oh, that's 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 a nice name. Too cute crisis? Is that I'm translating that right, right? Just cute cats do cute things, uh, which they do anyway. I'm allergic. Sorry for the skill issue, man. Oh, bro. bro. It's just it's just a slice of life about a girl going to a cat cafe. What more can you ask for? Too cute crisis. Oh, they literally translated like that. Wait, what is- what is this epic music that comes afterwards? <laughs> uh, this is one of those shows that I'm definitely probably not going to watch the full season of. But I know if I'm just- I, if I just need to pick me up, I'll just put an episode of this on. Um, I'm gonna be- this is gonna be one where I'm like, I'll give it like three episodes, you know? Also, I f***ing love the name Kawaii Sugi Crisis. That's just- I'm gonna use that next time I see a dog, or next time Sydney just uh, goes to a pet cafe. If you've heard the noise Sydney makes when she sees an animal, that's just this in a nutshell. Gundam the Witch from Mercury Season 2. This witch. <laughs> that, that was a little corny. <laughs> I'm sure it sounded cooler in Japanese. Guess all the Gunpla money is paying for all the high production value Gundam animes movies get. Yeah. Maybe we aren't so different from Idol fans regarding actually funding our fab. You know what? You Mecha fans, Idol fans, Gacha fans. Maybe we aren't so different after. No, we're different. <laughs> we are all investors in some way, shape, or form. You know, sometimes you want to spend money on a PNG of a girl, and sometimes you want to spend money on a little... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. On glorified Legos of uh, giant robots. 
<laughs> I am now cancelled. More Demon Slayer. Let's go. Anime of the year. Animation of the year. Isekai of the year. Fancy of the year. Comedy of the year. Oh, I forgot to say. Uh, Gundam is must watch if that wasn't obvious already. Woo! <laughs> the anime community is about to get a lot more horny, guys. A lot more horny. Man with a mission doing Demon Slay, yo! <laughs> Alright, I don't need to be reminded of my face. Thank you very much. I don't even need to give this a rating. You're watching Demon Slayer. Everyone's watching Demon Slayer. Insomniac's after school, that's it. I've heard of this manga. I, re I, I, I really, really want to read this manga because I've heard it's really good. Ganta Nakami is a high school student who suffers from insomnia. Uh, one day he meets Isaki Magari, a girl with the same condition. A strange but special relationship forms as they share a secret and catch up on their sleep in their school's abandoned observatory. <laughs> Must watch. Moving on to Kizuna no LL. This is a story about the bonds between girls. Kizuna I. My girl? What? Even Zero is actually really good. Their sacrifices that makes the story even better. Okay. Everything does not go so smoothly. The friendship theme is wholesome. We are so far beyond even Zero, bro. <laughs> we that was like an hour ago, man. We got a VTuber anime from Studio Wit. <laughs> So the whole point of VTubers is you can take a normal person and turn them into an anime character. They, be they can envelop an anime avatar, right? She already looks like an anime character. This ain't VTubers. This is flesh tubers, okay? This, this is, this is, the they've, they've, they've made a flesh tuber academy. AKA an idol academy, guys. <laughs> Riz. <laughs> what if this airs and then they debut all of these VTubers like IRL? I don't know if I'm thinking too deeply about this, but I'm like, that would be fucking five at that would. I am not gonna lie. Uh, I'm a little disappointed, right? What I was hoping for was, yes, it's kind of like an Idol Academy, but I would have liked to have seen a little bit more about the skill set it takes to become like an online VTuber, like a streamer. I don't care if it's idols, I want to see more, uh, I'm more looking to that world. I don't know who Haim Hajime is, never heard of Haim, who? Who is that? <laughs> Haim. I want to give it one episode to see if there's even like, even an inkling that they tried doing that at all. I think if you're going to spend all this anime and not debut these VTubers, what are you doing man? What are you doing? Moving on to a new Konosuba. So I believe this one is a Megumin spin-off. So, hello, hello. Is that a little baby? Is that a little baby? Oh. 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 Sure, Why does it sound like that? I don't know. Uh, what the <laughs> Where, what the Did okay. you lose your voice? Stop trying to push your voice, Sydney. Hey, this is a W. You can't uh, scream at me anymore. What the f*** you make it sound like I don't even scream at you! <laughs> Alright. Konosuba. Oh. Oh. This is not the comedic Konosuba vibe I thought it was going to be. Okay. She said it. She said the thing, boys. She said it. Having said that, I'm probably going to give this one three episodes because I don't, I can't get a grasp on what the tone is. If they go a more serious direction, is it going to be good? I don't know if Konosuba can do serious tones. I've never seen Konosuba try to do serious tones. What might end up happening is there's a chance that I watch this and I'm like, this is better than Konosuba. What the f***? You've made, you've made a better show than the original Konosuba, you know? Maho Shoujo Magical Destroyers. 
Set in a dystopian near future where otaku culture in Japan has been obliterated by a mysterious organization known as SSC, Magical Girl Destroyers follows the misadventures of otaku hero, a young revolutionary who loves otaku culture and anarchy, blue and pink, uh, a trio of magical girls who ad admire him. Together, they struggle to create a world where you can say... Sorry. Uh, a world where you can say what you like about what you like. A world where you can say what you like about what you like as much as you like. That was a sentence. <laughs> Yo, this actually looks good. Okay, okay. Now we're talking anime original. Let's go. They, they have banned weebs from this world. And you know what? You know what? They say it's dystopian, but yo, maybe they're onto something, man. Maybe they're onto something. <laughs> so Twitter kicked <KW>. up <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> this is literally unironically weebs rise up, man. Give me the thigh shots. Give me the horny. Give me the boob shots. Give me the yandere's. Give me, give me everything. Um, so yeah, I'm giving this one three episodes. This one uh, was very, very interesting. Magus Bride Season 2. Ooh. Oh, this looks like they've leveled up. Yo, they cooking? Someone has cooked a beautiful meal right here. For me, it's a must watch because I, if it's as good as the first season and not, and if not better, it's going to be an easy must watch. Moving on to Mashal. This is a world of magic. What, what, what is it? What is up with uh, the synopsises and uh, repeating words? This is a world of magic. This is a world in which magic is casually used by everyone. In a deep, dark forest in this world of magic. Are you, are you gonna keep I get it. It's a world of magic. It's it's definitely a what guys, did you know that this is a world of magic in this world of magic? They this anime takes place with magicians in this world of magic. There is a boy who is single-mindedly working out. His name is Mash Bernadette. And he has a secret. He can't use magic. God fucking damn it. <laughs> he can't use magic in this world of magic. Alan's been begging me to read this because he fucking loves this. Fuck <laughs> 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 Yes! Oh, oh man, this looks like so much fun. Harry Chatter. <laughs> if, I don't, if I don't know much about something, uh, normally I give it three episodes just in case. Uh, but I trust Alan's opinion. And I know if I didn't give this a must watch, he's going to kill me. And the trailer looked really good and really fun. Megami no Cafe Terrace. Not actually many isekai this season. Hayato Kasukabe has been accepted to Tokyo U on his first try. Absolute chat. Receiving news of his grandmother's death, he returns to his childhood home, Cafe Terrace Familia. For the first time, if he is to find five strange girls there who claim to be grandma's family. Sounds incesting, guys. What can I say? What can I say? Oh, is this wholesome? Oh, is, is this a wholesome one? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> there it is, and there it is. <laughs> it felt like a mid 2000s harem anime. I'm gonna give this one three episodes. Pure nostalgic vibe. It's okay to admit you like Edgy, my guy. I'm trying to say something real here for a second, man. My home hero. Oh. Tetsuo Tosu, an ordinary salary man, discovers his daughter, Reika, has been physically abused by her boyfriend. Trying to learn more about him, Tetsuo uncovers Matori's schemes to extort money from Reika's wealthy grandparents and finds out that he is a member of a crime syndicate with a history of murdering his former girlfriends. Filled with rage and fear at the thought of Reika being in danger, Tetsuo ends up killing Nobuto and with the help of his wife, uh, Kasen successfully disposes of the body. Now, as members of the syndicate begin to question Nobuto's sudden disappearance, Tetsuo and Kasen must work together to ensure the safety of their daughter. Essentially, just getting away with murder. Honey, are you murdering? Honey, did you just commit a murder? Honey, we talked about this. 
<laughs> Mama I just killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> Was that really the best time to put an upbeat J pop song on there, man? Oh, what a banger! What a banger! Yo, murder! Let's go! This is gonna be one of those shows where an episode ends. And you're like, I can't believe they ended the episode there. You're going to be waiting tooth and nail for that next episode to come out next week. And then the same thing's gonna happen. It's gonna leave you on a cliffhanger. And then you're like, Frank, I gotta wait another week for this. I personally will give this one three episodes, not because I don't think I'm gonna like it, uh, but to see if I end up wanting to wait for the entire anime, or if I'm just gonna binge read the manga. Nihime to kemono no o. The king of the beasts and demons regularly receives female human sacrifices to eat in order to assert the dominance over his people and over the human race. <laughs> Bro, the furries have risen up. Oh no, we let this happen. This is straight up Magus Bride now. This is straight up Magus Bride. This the shot is almost Magus Bride, except they're kissing this time. Right, right on the wet nose. She did, she did the wet nose. Come on, man. Uh, I actually just want to give it an episode just to see if I want to check out the manga. Opus Colors. This is probably my favorite synopsis of the entire day so far. I am learning so much about this show. The music's like, woo! Yeah! And then the animation is just like... Yes. I have a guess that this is gonna be a show that Meilin likes. Otanari ni Ginga. Ever since their father died, Ichiro Kuga has struggled to support his two younger siblings on nothing but a small inheritance and his passion for drawing manga. Shiori Gokushi applies to become his new assistant. There's, there's almost something otherworldly about Goshiki. And soon Kuga finds his reality turned upside down when she suddenly decides to declare their <laughs> them engaged to marriage? Everyone in chat is saying, huh? 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 But let's be honest, guys. How many of you how many of you guys are just gonna be like uh, That should have been me! me! Not him! It's not fair! <laughs> no, yeah, you know, I'm gonna say a little bit too cute away. You know, a little bit a, a, a little bit too cute away from my liking. I'm just, just gonna say it. Blonde equals Sydney. God fucking damn it. <laughs> What? Now I agree with all you guys, huh? What? Okay, okay, that was that was that was, that was a little bit cute. That was okay. Oh, okay. Boys, boys, my, I'm, I'm, I might have felt some emotions there. Okay, maybe, maybe just a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe just a little bit, man. It's just, just, just a little, just like a tiny bit. I'm not saying a lot. I'm not saying a lot. I'm just saying it's just, it's just like, okay, maybe I can. Okay, maybe, maybe. I mean, based on that trailer alone, I'm compelled to give this one episode ranking of King Season 2. Holy hell, yes. <laughs> Yo, this is so well edited for a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> that felt like what I ask Alan to do for like the endings of my videos or like the beginning of uh, every seasonal stream, man. What the frank? This one is gonna be an easy must watch for me. Rokudo no Anatachi. Rokudo is a loser and everyone knows it. Bro, <laughs> Um, seeking to change his life, he desperately uses an ancestral artifact transmitted in his family for generations, a scroll that is able to subdue all demons. However, in the modern age, it has a different effect. It causes all bad girls to fall in love with him. <laughs> it should have been me, not him. It's an artifact that gives you Riz. Okay, okay. Hey, honey. I see your voice is back. <laughs> Wait, is that real? That, that can't be real. Wait, I just saw the amount. $999? Yo! Wait, what? Which from Mercury is wow. just seed, but with better writing, winking Yo, face. what the, What is up with these donations? Thank you so much, man. Is this the famous wife buff I've heard so much about? 
Eden's zero is an underrated yeah. must watch the fights and writing will be peace. <laughs> you gotta stop that. You gotta stop. <laughs> you gotta stop. Take my meds. <laughs> I'll take my meds, okay? I have a wife and she's a weep. Whoa. Are you saying that wife is just giving meds? Winking face. Oh shit, you're still here? Oh my god. Alright, it looks like I do still have the wife buff, even though she's left. Uh, it has a totally different vibe, even though the premise is a little crazy, but I kind of like that. Looks bad though, I, I didn't think it looked bad. Yo, people people look at these character designs and, and goes, yo, they, they were ugly, man. Where's my waifus? I want Genshin character designs every fucking time. Where's my big titty waifus? And it's just like, bro, it just looks a little old school, man. I want to watch at least one episode. I'm digging the style and the aesthetic of this. Moving on to another PA work show. Okay. Skip to Lofa. Excellent student Iwakura Mitsumi has always dreamt about leaving a small town. Luckily, she makes fast friends with Shima Sosuke, a handsome classmate who is uh, who's as laid back as she is overprepared. Okay. Loafer? I hardly know her. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you just you just keep doing it. What? what are you guys doing right now? Is that incognito Mr. Beast? <laughs> Good vibes. Guys, guys, guys. Blonde girl? Blonde girl? My vibes. My vibes, guys. My vibes. Alright, that was very, very comfy. I did enjoy the vibes. The vibes of that one. The vibes. I said wives. I, I enjoyed the vibes of that one. <laughs> I, enjoy, uh, I don't know why I go on my brain right now. I'm probably going to give this one three episodes. I enjoyed that. Tengoku Daimakyo. Within the safety of the walls, youths are raised in a nursery style setting by robots. The children are full of potential and curiosity. In many ways, it is like a slice of heaven. <laughs> Hey man. Oh, something sus is going on, man. Something sussy is going on. The outside world is a hellscape. It is almost entirely void of anything mechanical and is now inhabited by bizarre yet powerful supernatural beings. My friend, who works in animation, is very hyped about this one. Story is interesting so far. Op is directed by Waylon Zhang, Yushio Kensuk doing music, etc. The only con at Yo, you got cut off. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you got a friend who works in animation? Does your dad work for Nintendo as well? Okay, okay. This one? This one? Actually, yo, hold up. Hold up. Maybe that guy was cooking? Maybe he was cooking, guys? Oh my god, this looks so fucking good. It's been such a long time since I watched the trailer and I do not know the ride I'm about to go on. The music is by Kensuke Yusio. To me, he's like up there as like top five of all time anime composers of all time. Disney Gel. Frank. Kevin still better, Giga Chad. Uh, you say that. Uh, Kensuke Yusio is also Kevin's favorite composer. And I asked him this in person. This is an easy must watch for me. I'm definitely going to be watching this. Thank you to that one donation who got cut off. <laughs> The aristocracy's otherworldly adventure, serving gods who go too far. Oh my god, this synopsis is so long. This is so fucking long. Why, why, why does every light novel synopsis have to be so long? Shina Kazuya is killed protecting a young girl at a convenience store where he just happened to be at the wrong time. The next thing he knows, he's in a kind of world he only dreamed about. A world of magic and swords. I've never heard of that world before. Never heard of that world before. And the gods grant him several divine blessings. Don't say grant, chat. Don't say grant. I swear to God. Of course you want to become a f***ing adventurer. 
That's how I feel right now, man. Okay, I didn't think of the marriage thing that happens as well. Okay, okay. That was one of the most show of all time. I am the Isekai man. I'm the one who, no matter how bad an Isekai looks, I will give it a chance. So, I hope you know this much, how much this means when I say that I think, guys, I think, I think I have to skip this one. I am not giving this three episodes. I am not giving this one episode. I am skipping this one, okay? I'm skipping it. I can't do it anymore. This is my breaking point. I can't, this, oh my God. No, I was looking for something, anything in there. Anything I could latch onto, there was nothing. I'm skipping it, okay? I'm not gonna give this one a chance. I'm skipping it. What have I become? Finally, you grow up, no. I want to stay a child forever, man. Moving on to the Idol Master Cinderella Girls, U149. The U149 title refers to aspiring, art, uh, aspiring idols at the center of it all, who stand at under 149 centimeters tall. <laughs> this is a story about growth of little idols and their little producer. <laughs> oh, they. Oh, they, they're little. Oh, they, they're little. Oh, oh they're, they are little. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna skip this one. The marginal surface. It sounds like another word for racism, right? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Okay, this is uh, this is not what I was expecting at all. Okay, actually doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. I'm gonna give this one one episode, uh, just because I don't know much about it. I don't know anything about it. Moving on to Tony Kaku Kawaii second season. It's married life, man. It's married life. He just like me. Right, chat, chat. You can relate, right, chat, chat. I was joking, chat. I was joking, chat. I believe in you. I believe in you. You will find the girl for you. Maybe it won't be through the same means as this show where the main character literally jumps in front of a truck and finds his wife. I'm going to be watching this. Sometimes I need to clean up all of the other things I watch and sometimes I just need something wholesome to watch, okay? Watashi no Yuri wa Oshigoto desu. Hime, Hime who? Hime who? Gets roped into working at a weird cafe where the waitresses pretend to be students at an all girls boarding school. I just saw who's animating this, guys. It's the goddamn king of degeneracies themselves. Studio Passion, baby. Oh, boy. Oh, Passion's back in the game, baby. Wait a minute. Did they make a slice of life? Did they make a wholesome slice? <laughs> I'm willing to give them a chance. I'm willing, You know, it's, it's like when your favorite doujin artist starts making, like, real manga and anime. You're like, bro. Go for it, man. Let's see what you can do. I'm proud of you, man. Let's let's see. I am going to give this an episode. Why? Gay girls, isn't it? World Die Star. Uh, this just seems like an idol show. I could be wrong. What is this? Theater? Is this theater? This doesn't look. Wait, hold, hold up, hold up a second, guys. I've not seen an anime about theater girls. No, may maybe I have. There was Review Starlight. That was basically theater girls, but this is something that you don't get to see often. And I enjoyed Review Starlight. I'm gonna give this one a one episode. I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it a chance. Could be interesting. Yamanakun to level 999, Nokoi wo Sudo. Recently dumped, Akane is just about to quit the game she used to play with her boyfriend when she meets Yamada in the same RPG. Yamada in real life turns out to be somewhat of a legend. Absolute legend, guys. He's played more games of Raid Shadow Legends than every YouTuber combined. The only problem is he's only interested in the game. 
<laughs> what? What a true gamer. As Akane's feelings grow, will Yamada focus stay on the game? God, I hope so. Wouldn't that be the best plot twist of all time? It's an anime where a girl tries to get a gamer to fall in love with her, and then she just fails. That would be incredible. Yo, with an avatar like that, you know he's overpowered, man. Oh, oh, oh. That ain't no gamer. That ain't no gamer. Why you gotta gas like me like that, man? You know what the biggest tell was, guys? Uh, she met him outside. He was touching grass. I, I got a soft spot for gamers, of course, of course, guys. But I also got a soft spot for uh, any romance with gamers, even though we all know that this is the least gamer of any gamer I've ever seen. I'm going to give this one one episode as well. Moving on to Yusha Gashinda. Unfortunately, oh my fu- <laughs> What? <laughs> God damn! The legendary hero is dead! I said that's that's that. I said that, I said that. While she can't revive him, Anri can at least savage their quest by forcing Toka's soul into Shion's rotting body and dragging him along to Hell's Gate in Shion's place. Ah, uh, that! I really, really hope that the trailers are not as awful as that plot synopsis. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Someone working at Pony Cannon definitely knew what they were doing. <laughs> God damn! 555,000 views? I wonder why. I wonder why, guys. I wonder why. Ooh, okay. Oh! Oh, what? Ah, what? What? Hey, man, we are uh, we're giving to any any uh, any taste you want, man. Sometimes directors are very selective in what they show and what the camera can see. And as you can see here, this is some of the most. Interesting filmmaking I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to give this one one episode. I'll, I'll give it an episode. You know why. That was the spring anime season 2023 anime chart stream. I think that this stream and this chart was pretty damn good. In fact, I think we got all the good shows from last season and put it into this season. This season? It's pretty damn stacked from the looks of it. Anyway, that's been it for me. That's been it for me for today. I've been Gigok, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.